Hey, hi, and hello. These buildings have been generated within a couple of clicks. And you can see there are some variations to uh, add um, balconies, balconies with like this covered balcony. Uh, even some balconies have extras on them, like these things. Um, there are wide windows and narrow windows. There are entrances. And on the roof, we have some extras, some antennas, uh, and so on. So I'm going to show you how I did it and how you can do it. This, um, the way to do it is basically right click and you will have this after you install my package. Blendity, generate and buildings here. Um, you have all the parameters that you need to generate the buildings and then you say start and it generates them it's as easy as that but first you the prerequisite is to install my package I'll have the link in the description um, to an I uh, an HIO link so you download that file and then from window you go to package manager you click on this add and you use add package from tarball and you navigate to the package that you downloaded this will install my package which will add this menu item here which has other stuff that um, I covered some of them in previous uh, videos uh, maybe not all of them but for this video we're just going to talk about the generating buildings and you can see also here that it says blender version 2.9 um, so this requires that you use a blender version 2.9 or less and this this package basically runs blender under the hood um, without you seeing or noticing anything it uses blender to actually generate these buildings and then imports them into unity um, the other thing is you will have to set the blender path the first time so you will have to install blender if you don't have it um, and as I mentioned this for example this one requires version 2.9 or less um, so version 3 or 4 is not gonna work so after you do that you can use this stuff right here you will have the number of buildings that you want to generate you can generate as many as you want um, and then you have these ranges. The width is basically, uh, if we look at this guy, oh, let's close this. So this guy says four, which is this width, by three, the length, by 13 stories. Right? So if we go back here, oops, go back here, you will see the width. You can change the random values or ranges that you want for width, length, stories. Uh, entrance every X column, which means if you if you keep it to one, it will have an entrance an entrance on every column. Um, otherwise, depends on whatever number you give. Uh, the offset is just to to move it to the next slot. Uh, with balcony, uh, balcony every X column. Uh, offset for that a wide windows every X column offset for that proof and uh, this will uh, proof extras I'm gonna add these extras that I showed and you can add a rooftop which will add this um, uh, basically a rooftop you can try it and uh, the height of that rooftop how many antennas on each rooftop uh, water pipes these guys and extras on balconies. The last option is that if you want to extract the materials for each building, or if you want your generated buildings to search and remap to uh, materials that you already have. So if you want, you can create the first building with extraction and it will do this. This is the building, whoops. This is the building asset and these are the extracted materials, right? And if you want all your buildings to use the same materials, just generate one 
and then you can do whatever you want to these materials and then generate the rest of them with search and the map and it will automatically find these materials and assign them to all of the other buildings otherwise you can just if you want different materials for each building like this um you should probably extract the materials um so that's about it thank you so much for watching and check out the links that are in the description to support me as i don't run ads and have a nice one